After moving to Russia to avoid LGBT ideology, a devout Christian family experienced financial collapse due to bank account freezing and lack of English-speaking support. A month ago, farmer Aaron Feenstra and his wife Anisa decided to relocate their family of 10 from Canada to Russia, but things didn't seem to go as planned when they got there. Their Russian bank considered the amount suspicious, so they promptly froze the money from the sale of their rural Canadian farm. Additionally, as a result of their difficulties, Anisa lost her temper and began to yell about their new house, which made matters worse when Kremlin officials saw her insults negatively. She berated not being able to communicate in the language or find solutions to their problems in a since-deleted YouTube video, declaring she was extremely disappointed in this country at this point. I'm eager to board a plane and depart from this place. We've reached the first obstacle in this country where reasoning must be applied, and it's really, really annoying, the woman allegedly remarked. Arendt posted a groveling apologetic video on their account Countryside Acres after the video was removed, stating that their thoughts aren't always conveyed properly. Arendt stated that their finances were no longer frozen and that they planned to remain in the former Soviet country for the long haul in a follow-up video released on February 11. In a previous video that is still available online, Anisa was seen sobbing with apparent appreciation, but, her actions after that have led some to speculate that she might have been trying to hide her suffering. Arendt gave a press conference explanation of the family's choice, saying that, Canada is not the same country it used to be, and that, we didn't feel safe with our children there and for the future. There are a lot of left-wing ideologies, LGBTQ people, trans people, and just a lot of things they teach there now that we disagree with. It was something we wished to avoid for our kids. Additionally, farming offers greater chances due to economic factors. We thought Russia was the greatest. He maintained that the Kremlin would be able to keep that stuff away for years to come and that Russia has the strength to stand up against Western pressures. He came to the conclusion that other nations couldn't resist Western influence since they are influenced by it. Arendt allegedly declared in earlier films that he was disgusted to see homosexual flags everywhere in his area and that it was wrong that homosexuality is openly celebrated and worshipped almost. The decision by the homophobic family to leave for Russia was made two years after the country enacted one of the most stringent anti-LGBT laws in history, which essentially made it illegal for anyone to openly support gay people. The family claimed that prior to their relocation, Russian officials had given them guarantees that they would assist with settling in the nation. But as soon as they got there and moved the proceeds from their farm sale, the bank was automatically notified of the significant amount and had to freeze the account. Arendt claimed in a YouTube video that they were told the money was suspicious and that as a result, they were left with essentially nothing to live on because they were unable to access their money. The family's relocation encountered yet another difficulty when they attempted to unfreeze their funds since they were left scrambling due to the lack of English speakers and their inability to understand Russian. As much as banks have been very frustrating in Canada for me, I know that I can desk in a chair across from someone and explain it, Aaron said in his apology video, outlining the challenges, and that's the annoying thing. Anisa allegedly vented her rage about their transfer to Russia on their YouTube channel in the midst of their outrage over having their money seized. I'm prepared to board a plane and depart from this place. In the allegedly removed video, she stated, we've hit the first snag where you have to engage logic in this country and it's very, very frustrating. Aaron stated that, it was requested to erase the footage, but he then asserted that he was not under any pressure from Russian officials to do so and that they had independently modified the clip. Furthermore, he asserted that his family is in Russia for the long haul and has no intention of leaving. Arend made it clear in his apologetic video that his wife was only angry about their money being frozen and that the tirade was not directed towards the Russian people. Arendt acknowledged being aware of the media attention surrounding the Feenstra family's choice to go to Russia, but cautioned his supporters that Western media for the most part is very biased, corrupt probably. He went on, there are a lot of lies and absurdities being spread about us in the West. We are not stuck here, 
we are not hostages, we are perfectly happy here, and we have no plans to leave. Arendt claimed that Russian officials make it easy for Americans to relocate there, and he pushed others to follow in his footsteps. He continued, there's lots of land and opportunity here, especially for large families, Christian farming families, and conservative people, and they want them here. The Feenstra's videos have gained over 120,000 subscribers, however many people seem to disagree with their decision to relocate to Russia based on the comments. In Canada, your freedom index was 98 out of 100, in Russia, it was 16 out of 100. Civil liberties receive an 1160 and political rights a whopping 5 slash 40. OMG, congrats, family, exclaimed one. Arendt also asserted that his videos show that Russia has a free press, which made people dare him to mention anything unfavorable about Vladimir Putin or the situation in Ukraine in one of his videos. Arendt maintains that he has no regrets and is happy to have left Canadian society behind in spite of the criticism. I want to farm, he said in closing. All I want is to farm and raise my children in a free country. Others cautioned that in light of the fact that many people were detained and arrested for lodging grievances, the family might want to exercise greater caution going forward when criticizing Russia.